Law enforcement officially saying they are looking for a serial bomber. The latest explosion happened far from the other three in southwest Austin in the Travis Country neighborhood last night. The device is also more advanced than the others. K says Josh Skernick is live at the command post. And Josh, where are they at at the investigation? After a second sweep in the daylight, the investigators behind me are now doing what's called a post-blast analysis. But no, with a blast zone so large, the Austin police chief, Brian Manley, is actually asking all the residents in this neighborhood to stay inside until 2 this afternoon, 17 and a half hours after last night's blast, which sent two men to the hospital. The chief says those two victims, 22 and 23-year-old men, were walking with their bikes along a sidewalk when they found the device. They have serious injuries but are expected to be okay. As the ATF, FBI, and police investigate, the chief is asking anyone in this neighborhood with surveillance video to call them so they can look for suspicious people or vehicles. More than 500 agents from the FBI and ATF are working this case. Unlike the three other bombs, police believe this one used a tripwire to detonate. Authorities say this device is harder to make than the others and hits a broader target. They don't know if they are all linked. We have seen similarities in the device that exploded here last night and the other three devices that have exploded in Austin starting on March 2nd. With this tripwire, this changes things. It's more sophisticated. It's not targeted to individuals. Two people have died in this series of bombings with four others now wounded. The chief says his investigators are following up on a few more persons of interest, but as of yet, still no suspects. Reporting live in Austin, Josh Gernick, KSA 12 News.